if you have an A7 III or an A7R III, I've got good news. There's new firmware available. This is version 2. But what does it do? Well, for a start, you get optimization of the optical image stabilization performance and addition of a new image stabilization mode of the lens. Yeah, you're going to be loving that, I can tell. Addition of a function ring to the menu. Yep, another thing that you all need. Addition of Aperture to Drive in AF settings in the menu. Another great feature. AF Transcends can be assigned to a custom key. Improvement of the performance and overall stability of the camera. Better reproduction of the graduation of raw pictures when shooting with a flashed environment when flicking light occurs the stability of the exposure is improved and there's a few things that this doesn't tell you now with all these updates they keep a load of things in the background that will or won't affect your camera and one thing that seems to be happening here is if you use a third party battery it can give you a warning in some cases, and in some cases will simply refuse to work at all. So if you're the kind of person that spends three grand on a camera and can't afford the Sony batteries, you might wanna skip this version. If however, you're fully fledged Sony and ready to go, give it a download. Go to the Sony website of your choice. In this case, it's sony.co.uk. Go to support, type in your A7 III or IE7R3 select, your operating system and away you go. And when you do this, you need to relax because it can take some time. Don't be turning it off. Try and use the USB cable that came with the camera and once it says that it's finished give it a few seconds just to be sure this is not a race and let me know how it went for you in the comments did you get any brickage and are your batteries still working as usual guys it's been emotional